Welcome to the second part of uh, solving specimen paper of 2018-4024. Uh, I have done up to 1 to 3 in the last video. Uh, today I'm going to do 4 uh, onwards. Okay. Question number 4, there is this trapezium A, B, C, D given uh, with B, C parallel to A, D. Uh, e is the point on, <coughs> excuse me, A, D. Uh, such that B is perpendicular to AD, so perpendicular is the right angle, and this is 55 degree, this is 7, this is 18, and BC equal to 9 centimeter. Calculate BAE, BAE, this angle. So this is a right angle triangle, so BAE, I have these two information given, so BAE is going to 10 inverse 18 by 7. So I'm going to do this, this is add mass, I'm going to use the calculator, calculator version. So uh, shift 10, 10 inverse, 18 divided by 7. So I got 68.7, 68.7 degrees. So BA is supposed to be 68.7 degree. The area of the trapezium ABCD. Now area of the trapezium would be half parallel side, sum of parallel side. I know this is uh, 9 and this is 7. I don't know this. But in this triangle, I have one angle given and opposite side given. I can calculate this. Oppo by that, that's again 10. So 10, 55 equal to 18 by ED. So ED equal to 18 by 10, 55. So 18 divided by 10, 55 gives me uh, 12.6037. Keep up to four decimal place. So that's going to be 9 plus, this is going to be 7 plus that. 7 plus 12.6037 the reason i keep up to four decimal places because since this is not my final answer uh, at the final answer i'm gonna uh, either uh, uh, round it up or round it down okay and then perpendicular height is 18 so that's gonna be that's gonna be 9 to cross out that so here 9 plus 12.6037 plus uh, 7 so that's that times 9. So I got 257.4 or three significant figures, 257 square centimeter. That's the area of this. Okay. So that's done. And then uh, this is another trapezium. I have two angles given. That's 112 PRS, PRS equal to 41. Each measure correct to the nearest degree. Find the smallest possible values of Q, P, R. Okay, that's this is gonna be smallest sum of sum of this three angles of a triangle equal to 180 degree, but it's measure correct to the nearest degree. Okay, so if I'm ask, I'm trying to find out the uh, smallest possible value of this one. So this two has to be greater. Okay, this this one and this one has to be greater. Okay, now. Uh, this is this is parallel these two lines are parallel so this angle equal to the q r p okay so i i have to find out this so uh, if these two angles are larger then this is going to be smaller so upper bound of these two added and subtracted from 180 going to give me the smallest value of that now according to this parallel sides this one is 41 degree okay so the upper a bound of this line is going to be plus 0 0.5 that's going to be 41.5 and for this one is again 0 0.5 that's 1 12.5 so this angle qrp is going to be 180 minus 41.5 plus 112.5 so that's going to be 180 minus 41.5 plus 112.5 together is 154 so 180 minus that, that's going to be 26 degree. So this is the smallest value of that. Okay. Um, now, question number five, write 84 as a product of its prime factor. So 84, I uh, can do the short division method. Two divides 84 by 42, 221, 3, 7. So 84 can be written as 2 square times 3 times 7. So over here, I, I can write down 2 square times 3 times 7 so that's that now n is a two digit number and the lowest common multiple that lcm of 84 and n that n is 
0, 4. Okay, find n. Now, uh, 84, 84 can be written as 2 squared times 3 times 7 and n I don't know. That's, I don't know. But LCM is given 504. So 504, I'm going to express a, as its prime factor as well. 2, so there's going to be 2, 5, 2, 2, 1, 2, 6, 2, 6, uh, 2, and then it's going to be, uh, sorry, 3. That's 6 and 2, 3 is 6. So that's going to be now 3, 21, 3, 7. So that's going to be 2 to the power 1, 2, 3 times 3 square times 7. Okay, so that's that. Now remember n is a two-digit number. Okay, now what do we know about LCM? LCM is, if we put it this way, all bases, okay, LCM is all bases with highest power okay so i have this now let, look at this 2 to the power 2 and this is 2 to the power 3 so must be here supposed to be 2 to the power 3 so this base and highest power so 3 okay and then it's gonna be uh, 3 square okay and 7 i have it so if i if i keep it like that 2 to the power 3 is 8 and 3 square is 9 that's going to be 72 so this is actually two digit numbers okay but if i take 7 i can take 7 then this 7 multiply with that 72 times 7 that's going to be 504 and that's not two digit numeral it's going to be three digits so my n is 72 done okay now question number b the set a b c are shown in the venn diagram so uh, universal set is an integers from 1 to 18 so I can write down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 17 18 up to here that's it we are not gonna go more than that a is even number set of even numbers so I can write down 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 it seems like right now is pointless but it will help you to save a lot of time if you are confused with anything okay multiple of 5 b is multiple of 5 so write down that multiple of 5 is 5 1s are 5 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 5 4s are 20 that's out range i'm not going to go for that number of n uh, number of uh, elements in a union b now to do that i'm going to use this see that what are common i have a b and c what are common in a and b so in a and b 5 is not there only 10 so I'm going to put 10 over here. Okay. So B, I have 5, 10, and 15. Okay. So over here is that. And then um, here I have number of A union B, right? So A union B, I got that. And 2, 4, 6, 8. So I can put this. Uh, uh, I can actually do it over here. A union B is going to be 2, 4, 5. Then 6, 8, 10, 10, 10, then 12, then 14, then comes 15, then 16, then 18. Because C is for another purpose. I can I have just noticed that over here. So number of elements in A and B. So number of elements here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's going to be 11. So answer is 11. Okay. Now given that A intersecting B prime intersecting C primes are this. List all the numbers of C. Now this, we're going to use the De Morgan's law that's intersecting B union C prime. Okay, A, B union C prime. So over here, I have, uh, see that B union C, B is that, and union C. So if I look at this, what is this B union C and A? A is this, all these things. Okay, from here, 10 I have already put there. 5 is not there, so that's gone 5 and 10 now all of this i have to put it over here right now b union c so that's an intersecting a b union c intersecting a that's 2 4 14 and uh, 2 6 14 and 18 so in another words that c and b whatever we have uh, prime of that complement of that intersecting a so 
these are the elements that's gonna be over here but not in c 2 6 14 and 18 okay when i do that then the the elements that's gonna be in c are so i'm gonna i'm gonna check that 2 is gone now 6 is gone 14 is gone and 18 is gone all is left is 4 then 8 then 12 and then 16 so see that members of c so i'm gonna write down this is 4 8 12 and 16 so that's that okay now describe the set c in words so set c i have 4 8 12 and 16 so for this is multiple of four okay this is x is x is a multiple of four i i wanted to say even number but look at this i'm missing two i'm missing 10 i'm missing 14 so this is four twos are eight four threes are 12 so you need little practice of that one okay a school offers piano lessons and flute lesson piano lessons and flute lessons to a group of 50 students of these children 28 attend piano lessons so number of piano lessons is 28 17 attend fl uh, flute lesson so flute is gonna be 17 and 12 attend neither piano lesson nor flute lesson so that's gonna be a union b complement of that is 12 now if i uh, with a venn diagram okay they are asking attend only the piano lesson okay let me find out this first so that's piano that's flute so piano is 28 and flute is 17 but there there are some of the students who are taking both piano and flute uh, flute lessons so let that one be a now 28 plus a that's going to be bigger than a 28 if a is not zero so i have to subtract a from here so 28 minus a plus a that's going to cross out and 28 and that's that's where i'm going to have minus a okay and that a union b prime so that's 12 over here so let me find out the value of a if i add all of them it's supposed to be 50 children so 28 minus a plus a plus 17 minus a plus 12 that's going to give me 50 so 28 minus a plus a plus 17 minus a plus 12 equal to 50 this this cross out so 28 plus 17 plus 12 minus 50 and a is negative we're going to send it to that side so it's going to be 28 plus 17 plus 12 minus 50 so a is going to be 7 now 7 who take both uh, flute and that find the number of children who attend only the piano okay only the piano so this one except this 8 so 28 minus a only the piano so that's going to be 28 minus 7 or equal to 21 students okay now let's do the next one is the table shows some values of x and the corresponding values of y for this equation it's a non-linear equation and then all the values are given i have to find out this and complete the table okay so this negative 1.5 so one easier way you can do that one point negative 1.5 and put that one and then you put two answer to the power three minus three answer to the power two oops uh, let me do that again uh minus 1.5 put that one so and that's going to be negative 1.5 see that negative 1.5 now you write down two answer to the power 3 and get out of this exponent then minus 3 answer square okay then get out of here plus 5 so that's going to be neg negative 17 by 2 or minus 8.5 okay that's that now using a scale of 4 centimeter to represent one unit draw a horizontal x-axis so x-axis 4 centimeter equal to one unit for this using a scale of 2 centimeter to represent 5 unit draw the vertical so vertical is negative 10 to 10 okay draw this graph all right so that's negative 1.5 and 2 so what can i do i can draw this uh 2 centimeter to represent 5 so highest i have to go 10 so 2 centimeter i can do it over here uh 
draw that this is my x-axis and then four uh, there's one two three four so that's my see that two up to two uh, four centimeter represent one unit so that's one two three four one one two three four two okay so that's fine and then this is gonna be y and this is zero so this is one centimeter two centimeter three centimeter four centimeter four centimeter equal to one on x-axis then that's sorry that's one two three four that's two then this is one two three four that's minus one one two that's minus one point five and then two centimeter to represent five units so that's five that's five and that's gonna be ten and that's gonna be minus five and that's gonna be minus ten so minus one point five is minus eight point five so five uh, then over here see that five units with the ten okay five divided by uh, uh, actually ten divided by five so it's two each of them is gonna be see two of them gonna be one one two three four five so i have to go eight so six seven eight eight point five so right over here this is five six seven eight eight point five right over here and minus one is zero right over here then minus 0 0.5 be careful this is minus 0 0.5 and that's gonna give me four so uh, one two three four right over here and zero is gonna give me five and 0.5 this is gonna be 0.5 gonna be 4.5 so one two three four four point five and one is gonna give me four one two three four and 1.5 this is 1.5 give me five so that's uh, five right over here and two is gonna give me nine so that's nine over here so I can join this graph and then okay that's the graph okay that's done use your graph to estimate the gradient of the curve at x equal to 1.5 so 1.5 is right over here okay so i can just draw a tangent to that okay i'm gonna use a different color to just show if i have little different values or not over here now this particular point i already know 1.5 and 5 so take that point 1.5 and 5 and another one I'll take this one is gonna be 0 0.5 and 0 so this gradient is supposed to be difference in x-axis so 5 minus 0 5 minus 0 and this is gonna be 1.5 minus 5 so that's gonna be actually gradient is 5 okay so I got here gradient equal to 5 okay it's 5 now this value is supposed to be in the range because if, if, if your gradient if your tangent is little off then the gradient would be different okay so it should be in the uh, range given okay uh, in your marker scheme by drawing a suitable line on your graph find the solution of the equation this now to do that what we need to do we need to write down the original equation first okay so that's 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 4 equal to 0. What is the original equation? 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. So 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5. That's my original equation. Now this equals that, this equals that, and that I have wrote down one extra. So I'm going to subtract 1 from that. And this can be replaced as y. And this, if we take that, that's 1. See that suitable line it says? So y equal to 1. I'm gonna draw one is uh, right over here okay so I'm gonna just join this uh, points and then draw this thing I'll go this way that's much better I can see it so that's that and this is gonna be my y equal to 1 this equation now where it intersect that line okay 
this line over here this line intersect with the curve at here and another place oh no more just one so this value is going to be you can see that 0 0.5 0 0.75 so this way see that uh 40 is uh uh 5 5 10 15 20 so 20 is uh by uh so that 20 and uh 20 uh, vertical line i'm measuring by one so that's gonna be one divided by 20 that's gonna be 0 0.05 0 0.05 so this is 0 0.5 Okay, one of them 0 0.5. So this is uh, 0 0.1, two lines, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, so 0 0.5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I got minus 0 0.9. That's the value, okay? And then B, the graph shows a sketch of the curve y equal to p by x. This is y equal to p by x. And two points on the curve are this and that find p and q all right so p and q what can i do if i take this point and put it here see that y equal to p by x taking this this value first so y's value is 0 0.4 p x's value is 3 so p is going to be if i multiply that 3 times 0.4 that's gonna be 1.2 so i got the value of p okay to get the value of q so let's put this one y equal to i know p is value 1.2 x now over here x's value is q and y's value is 2.4 then 1.2 this is x so x comes over here 1.2 divided by 2.4 that should be 1 by 2 1.2 divided by 2.4 that's a 1 by 2 or 0 0.5 okay that's 0 0.5 and that's 1.2 done Calculate the gradient of the straight line joining the point this. So if I if I join these two points, uh, uh, the question is asking to find out the gradient of this line. We can see clearly this is the negative, this uh, has negative gradient. So uh, point is three, the coordinates of the points are three, zero, four, and Q was, uh, Q was, uh, this is, oh, the value was here Q. Okay, so this is Q and that's Q. Q is 0 0.5 and 2.4. So gradient is gonna be difference in Y axis, 0 0.4 minus 2.4 and three minus 0 0.5. On the top is two and this is gonna be 2.5 and this is gonna be negative on the top. So negative two divided by 2.5, it should be minus 0 0.8, okay? So that's that.